हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग कैपजिमिना एग्जाम टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर फ्यू ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस एज मेनी ऑफ यू हैव रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू अपलोड वीडियोस रिगार्डिंग टेक्निकल क्वेश्चंस ओके सो एज ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट फ्रॉम टेक्निकल पार्ट यू विल बी हैविंग टोटल 15 क्वेश्चंस सॉरी टोटल 40 क्वेश्चंस आउट ऑफ दोस टोटल 25 सीडोर क्वेश्चंस विल बी देयर एंड देन 15 टेक्निकल एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस दैट विल बी फ्रॉम आईटी फंडामेंटल्स दैट इज फ्रॉम सीएससी from a data structure from cloud from networking so these are the main topics you have to cover for this 15 marks okay and this 15 marks will also play a major role so if you are preparing for capgemini then please give importance to these videos okay so let me start with the first question but just one notification for you guys if you are willing to get more videos like this then please do subscribe so that i'll be motivated to make more content so okay so i hope you have a big heart and you have already done it okay so let me start with the first question that is this which of the following ip addresses can be used as a loop back addresses so please give the answer in the comment section and guys uh, like i am going through the previous year questions which were asked in the earlier in capgemini slots so if you can see the questions from ip addresses that means this same questions uh, may not come okay the related questions can come so please be prepared for that so now please give me the answer in the comment section i hope you have already given so in this case the answer will be this 127.0.0.1 why because a loop back address is nothing but the addresses which lies between this address to 127.255 bit 255 bit 255 bit okay so this is the uh, like range of loop back address which lies between 127.0.0.1 to this and this is a real question so please be aware of that like what type of questions they ask okay so from this same questions from the same pattern i'm giving you one question that is please give the answer in the comment section that uh, this address this ip address this ip address and this ip address what class this ip address belongs to okay first second third and fourth what are the class of these four ip addresses please give the answer in the comment section these all are individually a uh, single uh, like uh, mcq questions okay so please give the answer in the comment section okay so let me go to the next question so the next question is uh, yeah from dsa so basically uh, out of those 15 questions you will be having most of the questions from dsa like dsa will be the main game changer okay so dsa questions will be major then cloud then networking and then computer science related okay okay so if you are using a depth first search dfs for traversing an unweighted graph then which of the following will happen if uh, so first option is it produces the minimum spanning tree it produces all pairs shortest path tree so these are the two options you have to check which options or which option is correct for this uh, statement okay okay so i'm giving you the answer i hope all of you have gone through the question okay so if you are using a depth for search for traversing an unweighted graph so this is the keyword you have to pick okay so an unweighted graph if if traversing for unweighted graph then it produces the minimum spanning tree this is universal truth for unweighted graph uh, if we are traversing using the depth for search okay so now the question is why this option is not right okay let me just tell you that is uh, when we are traversing like uh, if you are using depth for search for traversing and weighted graph weighted graph on that case only it produces all pair sorted path tree so the main keyword is weighted and unweighted okay so please be aware of that so when unweighted graph then it produces the minimum spanning tree when it is weighted graph then it is producing all pair sorted path tree so in this case which option will be the correct that is option a i mean option 1 that is option d okay so i hope you understood so let me go to the next question 
so the next question is this but uh, yeah so this is the next question and i'm giving you this as a quiz question guys so please give the answer in the comment section give the answer this is a quiz question for you guys so please give the answer in the comment section okay so the next question is this identify the layer which provinces service to service to the user from osi model so guys before i give you the answer uh, let me introduce with our prime materials in which you will get all the previous year questions all the recent questions with answers all the technical questions all the like it fundamental questions uh pseudo code questions and also coding questions then we have all essay writing questions also we have interview preparation materials communication uh, assessment so all of these you are getting at only 89 rupees so please damn me at my insta handle at instagram.com slash techno.uf techno.uf you will get all of this at a bundle and if you have any financial problem then let me know in inbox i'll try to assist you okay okay so identify the layer which provinces service to the user from website model is nothing but session layer okay so i hope your answer is also same let me just introduce uh, to you with the osi model and tcp ip model actually uh, the station layer uh, i have already gone through all of these layers and their uh, functions so please go through the uh, last uh, videos like previous videos of this playlist uh, i have discussed about those so what are the like um, uh, functions of all these uh, layers okay so the session layers are from osi model actually uh, is responsible for this okay and the application layer from tcp ip model is responsible for the same okay so just be careful about if it is asking about osi model or uh, in tcp ip model okay so the layer which provinces service to the user from osi model is nothing but session layer okay so let me go to the next question that is a very easy question i am not giving you the answer okay let me just introduce with the answer but uh, pass stands for what platform as a software no 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 so platform as a service it is fine you know i know that you know that okay but the question is what is the full form of fuss so this is the question for you please give the answer in the comment section i am not asking about ias i am not asking about saas because these are all common questions and very easy questions you can answer but uh, this is little bit uh, uncommon questions so please give in the give the answer in the comment section i'll love it okay so actually you can say pass fast ias saas so these are all very basic cloud computing best questions so why do we uh, like why do we need to go with th those so because these are being asked actually and this is the actual questions i'm giving okay so that's why so i hope you understood so let me go to the next question that is this what does elasticity in cloud computing refers to please keep the answer in the comment section so let me just uh, give the answer of uh, this question so choose uh, among the following which is the related services provided by the cloud the answer will be sourcing okay so nothing but sourcing it is the answer for this okay so i'm giving this as a which question so please uh, go through google and search the answer so that you can uh, you can be introduced with many other questions and you'll cover many other answers as well okay so please go through the uh, like google and get the answer so the next question is this recursion user uses more memory space than iteration which of the following is our is or are the valid reason for the same it uses the stack instead of a queue every recursion call has to be stored choose the correct answer from the options so this type of questions as you can see i have already discussed in the earlier so please try to answer okay so let me just answer that so when we are uh, doing the recursion now it always use the stack instead of instead of queue it always use the stack so first option is right so let me check if the next option is right or not so every recursion call has to be stored so when let's say this is a function sorry let's say this is a function a comma b and that something is there and here we are returning or we are calling the function a and b again so when this is called now so it is actually stored uh, in the uh, in the memory of a stack 
okay so this is also right so option a and b both are right so according to my knowledge both a and b is right so please give the answer uh, according to you what is the right please challenge my answer as well if you can if you want okay so let me go to the next question that is very popular question in uh, capgemini that is evaluate the given post fix expression like if you get a total six to seven uh dsa based questions and then out of those two questions will be from post fix infix these are the main like these are the questions you can face post fix to infix infix to post fix conversion or evaluate the post fix expression evaluate the infix expression this way they can ask you the questions so please try to give the answer before you leave okay so evaluate the given post fix expression so what is the rule so guys if you have not subscribed and liking this video then please do it man i'm being motivated after you give like and subscribe this okay okay so how do we do this so when we are using post fix and in fix expression like changing or evaluating then we use the stack okay then at first two and three right so two we have to push two here then we have to push three here okay so two and three inside this stack then we are introduced with the plus so two and three are added so it becomes five it becomes five so it is again post i mean it is inside the stack already then we are uh we are having five so five comma five and we are introduced with the start i mean the multiplication so it is also pushed to the uh it is also pushed to the uh stack so 5 into 5 that becomes 25 right so then 2 3 plus so uh, in the same way in the same way 2 and 3 will be uh, pushed to the uh, stack then plus uh, then it will become 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 then uh, then uh, what um yeah so this plus are there uh, there right so 2 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and 5 uh, 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 right then 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 this multiplication is actually in between this right so uh, we'll get 25 into 9 so this becomes 225 okay so please try to understand actually i'm not uh, like uh, explaining all try to understand these guys and try to follow the manner okay so let me give you the next question which is uh the last question uh, i'm not giving you any pseudo questions in this video so actually i have already uploaded various uh, videos according, according to uh the previous questions so please watch those okay so what is like the uh, what is the value after converting this okay like oh, evaluate the given post fix expression so please try to answer in the comment section this will be a quick question again so this is enough for today's so i hope you have already given the answer thank you